heard a loud noise in the heavens, and the spirit instantly appeared to me and said the serpent was loosened, and Christ had laid down the yoke he had borne for the sins of man, and that I should take it on and fight against the serpent, for the time was fast approaching when the first should be last and the last should be first. No sign anybody's followed, gentlemen. My brothers in God, the serpent is loosed amongst the lambs. He sinks his venomous fangs into their flesh again and again and again. And when they die, when he has savaged them until they are worn out and weakened, weakened to death from his poison, he simply preys upon a new generation from God's flock of lambs. So who shall fight against this serpent which will devour all of us? General Nat! General Nat! General Nat! God has called me. And like Moses, I try to deny his will. And like Moses, I surrender myself my will to his. <laughs> like Moses, I've been called to lead my people from bondage. Like Moses, I call my people to a hard and bloody war. Moses sent his people to war with the Midianites, and they slew every man. Moses commanded unto them, did ye say all the men are alive? And for this, God sent a plague among the people. Moses commanded, now therefore kill every boy among the little ones. Kill every woman. You just going about your business, you hear? But I saw something. Don't tell me what you saw when there wasn't nothing or nobody to be seen. Hey, 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 hey. What's this? Well, we part in general. I was just taking tea up to the big house where I was doing this party. Party, party. You got extra people in there? Uh, no. How many people no. got in there? No. Uh, not for a couple more hours. I, I expect that so much. All right. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Him off and move on. Well, well, I'm sorry. Well, I, I didn't mean to. I remember that I brought you, I brought you food. Well, when you, when you worked really hard. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Come
no harm to us, to any of us. No harm. They owned you, okay? He owned you, and when he died, she owned you. You were the possession, okay? And now, But no, but no. Listen to her will, the voice of a woman. A woman who has served one mistress after another her whole life. A voice of a woman longing to be free. A woman whose very voice has her name forced upon her. I don't think that this is no! They stole my wife from me, sold my boy right from under me! My child. Well, maybe we didn't start this one. I don't think she did either. Take up your weapon. We've got more people to free from this bondage. Okay, do not shirk from your sacred duty. Men! Let's go free our brothers. Come on! Come on! Let's go! What do I do?